Hi, my name is Brad Coyle, and I am the LCOS Spatial Light Modulator Product Manager for Hamamatsu's U.S. offices. Hamamatsu has been using SLMs for shaping light for a long time. We have an active research group at our central research laboratory working on new SLM-based applications. Based on their research, we have SLM modules for end-user research and OEM integration. We have our OEM models here. The research versions have cases to protect the circuit boards. The OEM versions are just the circuit boards for easy integrations into instruments. The difference between the SLM modules is the pixel array and packaging. Today I want to talk to you about our new model of spatial light modulators engineered specifically for OEM customers. The new X15223 model has a large pixel array of 1024 uh, by 1280 pixels and small 12.5 micron pixels. Our SLMs operate over a specific range of wavelengths. We offer SLMs that work from 400 nanometers out to 1550 nanometers, including some broadband visible spectrum models. We utilize dielectric mirrors for maximum reflectance up to 98%. The new X15223 has a smaller package than its predecessors. In direct response to customer feedback, we have made the controller and the SLN hub smaller for better integration. It includes built-in triggering and expanded onboard memory to store more than 1,600 phase images in XXGA format. We have two great features to highlight today. First, we added overdrive capability to the driver and our Type 03 and Type 13 SLMs. The LCOS SLM can generate a hologram-based patterns of your choice, and now we can drive the image by switching faster between higher voltages. The increase in speed is up to 2x when switching between holograms. The second new feature is the heatsink. This is based on customer feedback as well. They want to use higher power lasers for their new applications, so we added a water-cooled jacket that attaches to the back of the LCOS head and draws heat away very efficiently. This allows the use of high power lasers without concern of damaging the LCOS chip. We have run the SLM with heatsink with 50 watt pulse lasers. The heatsink option opens up the use of SLM for material processing and 3D manufacturing that require higher laser power. The SLM has a wide range of applications from manufacturing to medicine. The SLM can be used for laser beam shaping for Bessel beams, annular beams, or airy beams. One area that we are seeing a lot of use is in light sheet microscopy, where the SLM is used for turning the laser from a cylindrical beam into a flat plane. The SLM can work as a wavefront aberration correction device to correct for distortions in an optical system. This technique is really useful for ocular fundus imaging by ophthalmologists. The heatsink technology is now getting used in laser manufacturing and materials processing. It can create a pattern of marks on metal or be used to etch specific designs. A very new application is to use the SLM to generate patterns for 3D printing. The other device on my podium is the new Wavefront Shaper. This is a device that utilizes the SLM technology to control the shape of a laser reflected off its surface. We have four models, each designed to work within a specific wavelength from 460 to 1100 nanometers. These are designed to make integrating the SLM easy and affordable for our OEM customers. The Wavefront Shaper is used for optical beam shaping and manipulation, laser processing, 3D machining, aberration correction and adaptive optics, and LCD panel engineering. Our LCOS SLM products are innovated, um, innovative and an excellent solution to beam quality and focusing applications. Hamamatsu continues to develop new products in this space in response to our customer needs. These are really useful devices.